want to get right to the Jersey Central Newsmaker Hotline. My special guest who is standing by is going to be among the millions of people who will be descending on Philadelphia today to celebrate, of course, uh, the parade for the Philadelphia Eagles uh, winning the Super Bowl on Sunday. My guest is the publisher of Jersey Man Magazine and Philly Man Magazine, and he's also a former player for the Philadelphia Eagles, so this is big stuff. Uh, Ken Dunnick is with us here uh, on WCTC this morning. Hey, Ken, it's Burt Barron. How you doing? Hey, Bert. Glad to be with you. How are you? I'm good, man. This is a day decades in the making, uh, and boy, for the fans of that city, this is uh, this is something they can only dream about for a long time, right? Well, listen, I mean, uh, one of the things uh, that touched me the most was, you know, I, I just felt for the fans all these years. I felt that, you know, we, we, we failed them in 1980, and then, of course, fell short in 2004, and then for this team to actually play so well and win the Super Bowl, my greatest uh, gratitude is for uh, these Philadelphia fans who are so deserving. And they say that it's such a the fan base is so loyal. They come out season after season, year after year, and uh, you know what? They're always there. They've had great years. They've had bad years, but the fans always come back and always believe that someday they'd see you guys win, right? Well, you're, that's exactly right. You know, they have supported this team through thick and thin. <laughs> I'm hearing cheering. <laughs> And you can hear the cheering on the bus. We're about to pull out with a police escort. So wow. That, that's kind of exciting. But, you know, the, these Eagles fans, uh, they finally have a winner. And uh, it's just one of the greatest times I can remember. Yeah, no question. Now, I talked to so many uh, Philly fans over the past couple of days, Ken, and they said there was even this moment where, you know, the ball hit the ground, the clock went zero, and they said, you know what, there's still some way that we didn't win this game today. Yeah. And I guess uh, after all those years, you know, now you can finally exhale and say, we got it. We finally won that won the big one. Well, you know, I'm from Chicago, and then when the Cubs broke their streak, it was almost surreal when they had the final out. You never thought it was going to happen. It was the same kind of feeling when the uh, clock read zero and that ball fell to the ground off of Gronkowski's hands. It yeah. Was, it was just, did, did we really do this? I mean, is it possible <laughs> that the Eagles won the Super Bowl? And, uh, you know, just, just so happy that I've maintained my relationship here in the city and with this team for so long. Yeah, so so today, Ken, you, you're, is this the alumni bus that you're riding in and you're going to be taking part in the parade, right? They have a, a, a sea of buses here that are transporting alumni, friends and family, coaches, families, players, families, and we all have a VIP seating. Now, we're getting there early because we have a police escort to the art museum. We're going to hang out there for a few hours. And then, of course, the ceremony starts at 1 o'clock. So it's going to be a, a long day of celebrating. And we got here uh, about uh, 6 o'clock in the morning. Awesome stuff. And for the guys that are wearing the uniform this year that obviously went out there and, and won the game, for everybody that ever played for the Eagles, can much like yourself, this is really a, a celebration for everybody, whether it's Jaworski, Bill Berge, all these great Eagles players. This is kind of like the moment that it, everyone has kind of worked towards, right? It, re- it really is. The whole Eagles family can uh, relate to this and celebrate this achievement because, you know, as alumni, you, you feel close to the team. I had a conversation with Ray Dittinger yesterday who got very emotional when, uh, you know, the Eagles won and he was able to embrace his son. And I told him, I said, Ray, you know, don't feel bad because you were crying on camera, but all of us were crying in our living rooms. And uh, it's, it's just a great moment for the city and a great moment to be an Eagles fan, obviously. Yeah. And now, the last I heard, uh, Ken, about the uh, expected attendance today, somewhere between two and three million. Have you heard the same number or maybe more people than that? No, we're hearing two to three million. And, okay. you know, all, all the trains are shut down. You cannot get into Philly. Our. Our our bus driver is very animated. They're passing out Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> That's it's great. Kind of a crazy scene here, right? Now. <laughs> awesome. Well, this is it's going to be like a day long celebration, of course, uh, happening in the city today. And uh, the fans in that city, they're really they're rabid. I can they're like no other fan that I've ever seen across the country. Whether it's the Phillies, uh, the the Eagles, uh, Sixers, Flyers, they've been with their teams for a long time, and yeah. this is really a moment to celebrate. Uh, even for South Jersey too, all the great fans in South Jersey Absolutely. that have been there for years and years, right? Well, you know, one thing about Eagles fans is they're they're so passionate. They love this team. And the thing is, is Eagles fans are great if they think their players care as much as they do. You know, the Ricky Waters stuff for who, for what, that doesn't fly in this town. Mm. It's, you know, running through a a brick to try to uh, score a touchdown or, you know, giving maximum effort because they want their team and their players 
to care as much as they do. And obviously, this team had the character and the and the talent to, to pull this thing off, and that's why uh, Eagles fans will love this team forever. That'll be a remarkable moment, that's for sure. Now, the, the, the Lombardi Trophy, Ken, uh, being an alumni for the Eagles, do you get a chance to take a picture with it, own it for a while, spend some time with it? Well, have you seen the trophy? I, I hope so. I haven't seen it yet. Okay. I would assume that we're going to get access to it, and believe me, I will be standing there with a cover of Jersey Man magazine trying yeah. to get all I can out of this branding <laughs> opportunity. So I'm, I'm I'm locked and loaded and ready for this moment, believe me. Awesome. That was my next question for you. Uh, special editions maybe of Jersey Man or Philly Man magazine coming soon celebrating this win? Well, certainly uh, our next issue was going to come out in April, so it may not be that relevant. But, okay. Uh, check our website. We'll have some Eagles stuff up on there. I'm sure I'm going to take some videos with some uh, Eagles alumni like Bergie and Jaworski today and We'll have those posted on the website. You'll have uh, inside access to uh, being up close and personal. You'll you'll have the view that I have today because I'm going to tap my phone out of battery taking videos. <laughs> and, you know, it should it should be interesting. So. And, of course, we'll do something in the April issue about the Eagles. That's course. great. Uh, we'll be looking for that, of course, and uh, jerseymanmagazine.com. You could always visit that. And, uh, wow, Ken Dunnick, thanks so much for the time today. Of course, uh, Ken, uh, former Philadelphia Eagles player, so this is a special day for him that he's been waiting for for a long time, too. So, Ken, enjoy the moment today. Have a great time at the parade. Be safe, and I can't thank you enough for your time this morning. All right? You're welcome, Bert.